this is what we're going to see. Portinho da Rábida, that's that thing over there. We're going to see an underwater cave. We're going to see the beaches. We're going to see an old military post with a cannon. You might definitely enjoy the video, so just stick around and see, see what you think about this Portuguese place and let's begin! Damn it, lost again. Why am I always lost? <sighs> Fucking signs in Portugal are horrible. So Arabide is to the right, but I don't trust this sign course so I'm just gonna check this well what do you know it's actually to the right fantastic God, I'm on the right, on the right road. I was beginning to think that I, that I spent so much time driving behind those cars just to end up in the wrong place. Okay, so this is the first place I want to show you. I've actually never been here, so I actually wanted to show it to myself as well. Anyway, uh, a colleague at work told me about this spot. Supposedly this route leads to um, uh, an awesome cave, sea cave. So I'm gonna check it out. Hmm. Well, my colleague did tell me it was this way. I wonder if it is. I don't think it's that way. Hmm, let's see if it's this way. Holy crap, this might, this might actually be further down than I thought. This, I'm going to see supposedly a cave, a sort of underwater cave or whatever. Uh, and I'm nowhere near the sea. Or at least, I don't know if you can see it, but the sea is is down there and I'm up here so this might be quite a hike down and a really weird one as well or at least hard to go down oh. but it might actually be worth the the hike let's see okay so about the only thing I know about this cave is what my friend told me it's it's an underwater cave that the sea excavated or digged uh, digged from the rock, and he tells me that there's a little shrine in the, inside the cave, and it has some pretty awesome ge geological geological uh, features. Not that I know anything about rocks. Hmm. We might be getting close. Here's the sea. Oh, 
hope I don't fall. Ugh. Holy crap. <laughs> I <laughs> I just glimpsed the cave. I don't know if I wanna go down here. <laughs> what what the hell? Hmm. I'm a bit skeptical about going down there. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a literally a uh, hole in the rock <laughs> with some stairs. Holy crap. And this goes under the water. Hmm. Holy crap, I'm gonna get murdered. Spooky. Oh, there. Oh, cool. There's a shrine. I don't know if you can see this on the GoPro. This, because the GoPro really isn't that good in the dark. But this, this shrine with various relics. And we're not alone. Oh, there's a door. You're probably seeing just as bad as I am because there <laughs> this is very dark inside. I can't see for shit. Wow, look at this. So this was all carved by the sea apparently. Okie dokie, that's it. Uh, next spot. Of course, in order to go to the next spot, I have to climb the same path that I took to get down here. Uh, so, see you in 15 minutes. Oh, thank God. I really need to start going to a gym. And Whew, so out of shape. Ah. Well, next stop is Purting da Rabide. It's a little port in the coast of this natural reserve. So I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are, a Habibe. Of course, being the awesome, lazy guy that I am, I have no fucking clue about <laughs> the interesting things about this place. Uh, the only thing I know about it is that's, uh, that it's a natural reserve and it has awesome beaches. And that's beaches with a B-E. And yeah, it, it's a yeah, it's pretty unique place. Look at this. Pristine waters, awesome beach. The coastline, no buildings, just nature and a lot of sun. So, a bit of info this is the natural reserve of Ahabide. Uh, it's about 50 kilometers south of Lisbon, so it's pretty close. You can get here in half an hour if you know, if you know the, um, the road. Will you look at that? Shitty weather though. We were just down there. We did this. We took this road all the way up here. And we're hopefully gonna take this road and then end up down there. By the way, I don't know, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but on the other side of the, the water you can see a, a patch of land. 
and that's Troya, that's like the um, five star resort of Lisbon with uh, kilometers and kilometers of beaches you have all the spas and hotel, five star hotels there it's the VIP place of Lisbon for beaches and this, this is what you get when when people don't, don't know how to park their cars there's barely any space for two cars to, to pass on opposite directions and unfortunately that means I'm stuck as well Hurrah! Look at this. Ooh, cool. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> um. Fire. Of course, this is all abandoned. Supposedly, there's a couple of these cannons. Uh, scattered across various locations uh, near Lisbon. This was used during World War One, World War Two. I don't know, one of those wars, to, to protect incoming naval enemy fleets. Um, this one in particular is, is protecting the, it seems it's protecting the entry to, to the area of Stubo. They're pretty much abandoned, but still it's really cool look at this inside a cannon and there's one that's actually pointing to the sea let's check that out How many people it took to operate this? So here's a cannon pointing to the sea. It just works. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Which it does. <laughs> oh. So this is the hatch. Awesome. Military barracks. This seems like a bunker. And it smells like piss. Some would say it, it smells like this one. <laughs> or any big city for that matter. <laughs> God, this stinks. Ooh. I keep getting myself into dark situations.
hope I don't find the... Oh, this is scary. No, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going to go inside. <laughs> Too creepy, and it smells like piss. Probably would find a hole inside. But yeah, you get the picture. Couldn't probably, you probably couldn't see anything on the GoPro. Like I said before, this is a really shitty camera for dark situations. Here are the barracks. Done. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at the size of that wrench. Well, not that wrench, but the drawing. Most likely used to operate those cannons. Holy crap! That's massive. Look at this. It's absolutely massive. And here's the last cannon. Cannon. So there are a total of three military cannons. Hmm. I wonder what this contraption is. Huh. Yeah. Strange. It goes down. Maybe it's a uh, some type of elevator. Oh, it might be the the place where they put the missiles or the how do you say the ammo for the cannon. Maybe that's what what's what what this is. Yeah, probably so. Maybe the missile was fitted here from downstairs. They lift this up. They took it and they loaded up on the on the cannons that's probably what this is seems like it at least so this this is the view that over there is what I told you before that's Troje the resorts area of uh, of Lisbon and that's it this massive massive cannon canyon how do you see cannon is it cannon it always feels like I'm I'm talking about the camera about the camera cannon okay guys that's it for today I hope you liked it and as always stay awesome Bye.